Okay, so you know how sometimes you land a new job and you're super excited and then you see the benefits package and you're like, whoa, what is all this? Definitely happens. Yeah, so today we're tackling one of those whoa moments, this thing called an ICHRA. ICHRA. Right, like it's some kind of dinosaur or something. Exactly. But it's actually about health insurance. And not just any health insurance. It could be the key to saving some serious money if you know how to play it right. Totally. And luckily for us, ABA Healthcare Services put together this super in-depth guide that we get to dive into today. Oh, yeah. They went all out. Thanks, ABA. Okay, so first things first, what is this ICHRA thing? Like, seriously, what are we even talking about here? Okay, so ICHRA, it stands for Individual Coverage Health Reimbursement Arrangement. Uh -huh. Catchy, right? It's a mouthful for sure. It is. But basically, it means your employer gives you a set amount of money each month to buy your own health insurance. So instead of them being like, here's the plan we picked for everybody, it's more like, here's some money, you go pick what you want. Yeah, exactly. It's like they're giving you an allowance, but for health insurance. Okay. I'm kind of liking the sound of that. More freedom, right? Right. Yeah, you get to is. shop around, find a plan that actually works for you and your budget. So it's all about that customized healthcare experience. I like it. But there's always two sides to every coin. Why would an employer choose ICHRA over just sticking with a traditional group plan? So that's the cool thing about ICHRA. It's actually more flexible for everyone. Employers potentially save some money. You get more control win-win. Okay, I see, I see. So less about the why and more about the how. Like, how do I actually choose a plan with this whole ICHRA thing? Because now, instead of just one or two options, I'm picturing like a million different plans and I'm lost in the sea of health insurance. Not alone. There's a lot out there. But this is where those metal tiers come in handy. Remember those bronze, silver, gold? Oh, ones? yeah, like the Olympics, but for health insurance? Exactly. Yeah. And just like in the Olympics, each tier has its own perks. Bronze plans, they're like your budget-friendly option. Lower monthly payments. But if you need to actually use your insurance, it might cost you more out of pocket. Gotcha. So it's kind of like you're betting on staying healthy. Pretty much. Yeah. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you've got your gold plans. Higher monthly payments, but they cover more, and you pay less out of pocket when you need to use them. It's like that peace of mind knowing you're covered for pretty much anything. And then silver is smack dab in the middle. You got it. A good balance between the two. Okay, that makes sense. But how do I know which one is right for me? This is like trying to pick a phone plan all over again. You're not wrong, but think about it this way. What do you actually need from your health care in the coming year? Will you be seeing the doctor a lot? Do you take any expensive medications? Oh, so it's all about anticipating my health care needs. Yeah. And a little pro tip from the guide ABA Healthcare Services. Mm -hmm. They actually offer help with this. Like you can live chat with someone or even have a virtual meeting with an expert who can walk you through all the options. Now that's what I'm talking about. It's like having a personal shopper, but for health insurance. Okay, so we've covered what ICHRA is and the different metal tiers. But what about the actual money stuff? Let's get into it. So this guide mentions payroll deductions, but also like paying directly to the insurance company. I'm already confused. Yeah, it sounds more complicated than it is, I promise. So the cool thing is with ICHRA, you can usually just get your insurance premiums taken right out of your paycheck. Oh, so like automatic payments? Love it. Right. Super easy. But you're, you're technically buying your own individual or family plan, so you handle everything directly with the insurance company. Okay, so my plan, my responsibility. Makes sense. But what if I, like, totally mess up? What if I go with, like, the bronze plan because I'm feeling invincible and then suddenly I'm not so invincible anymore? Can I switch mid-year? Happens to the best of us. But don't worry. Individual plans are usually pretty flexible. Way more than those traditional employer plans. So if you need to make a change, you just talk to your insurance company. Okay, so there's hope for us indecisive folks. What about changing jobs, though? That seems to be happening more and more these days. What happens to my insurance then? Oh, that's another area where ICHRA is a game changer. Hmm. Because with a regular company plan, you switch jobs. You usually got to switch insurance, too. Right, right. But individual plans through ICHRA, those are portable. Portable? Wait, so I can take my insurance with me? You got it. No more starting from scratch every time you switch jobs. That is huge. Okay, I am officially on board with this whole ICHRA thing. Flexibility and control what's not to love. All right, and it gets even better. The guide even says that if you leave your job, you can usually just keep your same plan. You just take over the payments yourself. Oh, so I have options. I like options. This is all very empowering. But I'm not going to lie, sometimes having all these options can be kind of overwhelming. For sure, okay. for sure. That's why we're here to break it down. Knowledge is power, right? 
especially when it comes to something as important as health insurance. Gonna said it better myself. So we've gone from what is an ICHRA to how it works, why it's cool, all that good stuff. Right, we've covered a lot of ground. And the best part is, ABA Healthcare Services is here to hold your hand through the whole thing. They've got tons of resources to help you figure out what's best for you. Seriously, ABA, you're the best. Okay, so to sum it all up, I think the big takeaway here is ICHRA puts you in the driver's seat when it comes to your health care. You got it. It's like you get to be your own health care boss. No more just taking whatever plan someone hands you. You do your research. You find the perfect plan for you. Exactly. Like finding the perfect pair of shoes. Uh-huh. Yeah. But seriously, this guide from ABA is a great starting point. But don't be afraid to shop around. Look at different companies, compare prices, read reviews, talk to your doctor. Right, because at the end of the day, this is about your health. Exactly. It's an investment you're making in yourself, and the right insurance plan is part of that. Well said. Okay, so we've covered a ton of ground today. We know what ICHRA is, how it works, why it's becoming so popular, all that good stuff. We did. And remember with ICHRA, it's all about taking charge of your health care. Do your research, ask questions, use those resources, like the ones from ABA Healthcare Services. They're there to help. ABA, we love you. But now I'm curious, how did the costs actually shake out? Like, are these individual plans actually cheaper than traditional plans? I think we need to do another deep dive on that. I am in. Awesome. Well, until then, everyone, happy insurance hunting.